Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to install the Norton Racing Soft Pull Throttle Return Spring on Max Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com, Moto America Junior Cup Ninja 400. Okay, let's first talk about the reason that we're doing this. We already have the Motion Pro Revolver 2 Quick Turn Throttle installed on Max's Ninja 400. Okay, I'm trying to get this thing ready for the coated tire test with Moto America right now. When you install this, right, you're able to change the pull from off throttle to wide open throttle. We have a large cam in this bike, so you can see this is closed. This is wide open, it's a very small movement. This is a big advantage when you're racing or doing track days, right? Because it changes the amount that you have to move your wrist in order to get to wide open throttle. The downside of it is, when you still have that stock return spring in there, right? That is set up to have the proper amount of resistance for a much longer, much larger throttle pull, is that it just simply, it's harder to open the throttle. This spring is going to help alleviate that. We're trying to make this bike as efficient for Max to ride as humanly possible. And small details like this return spring can make a hell of a difference by the time you get to the last lap of a SportBikeTrackGear.com Moto America Junior Cup race, right? In this install, we're going to break down all the steps minus the bodywork removal. This bike is in a state of, uh, we're getting it ready to go to the coat of tire test right now. I just fit some bodywork the other day. We've got that done. So the bodywork is already off. If you need to see what it takes to do that, that will have been done in other videos that are on the install page on our site. You can reference those. Okay, we're going to begin by removing the throttle cables from the Revolver 2 throttle housing up here. Just want to make sure that we've got plenty of slack to work with when we're down by the throttle bodies. And this is easy enough to do. Okay, slide the cables apart. It's all been kind of sitting out for a few months. We're gonna raise the bike up a little bit. I'm try and reposition the table so you guys can get a good look at exactly what we're doing here. Okay, now we're down here at the throttle bodies. There is a possibility we're taking this apart a little farther than I need to, but uh, you know, we as well get as much access as possible, it's really not a lot of extra work. This is the retainer clip for the throttle cables. Pop that off. This looks like a 10. Slide the throttle cables out. Just gonna move that all out of the way here. There's the OEM spring. Something that fell 
down in here. I need to fish that out. Okay, this is what's going to sit in here. The spring is actually going to ride on that. All right, when I come back, uh, we'll compare the two springs and begin our reassembly. Okay, here is the spring that we removed from the OEM throttle body. And here is the one that we're putting on. So you can see there is definitely a significant difference here. Before we dive in any further, it's going to be hard to really give you a good close-up look at this. Just the area that it's in right now, right? Getting the camera in there, my hands are in the way. And I'll also say this is a little bit of a tricky mod. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it. Okay, this is your throttle. There is zero margin for error here. You make mistakes, throttles can get stuck open. When throttles get stuck open, people can get hurt. So it's really important that you get this one 100% right without any question. Begin by sliding the spring into position like so. You have a nylon spacer that interlocks with the back side of the throttle cam. Okay. This is a little tricky. So you need to line this up with the hook on the new return spring. Okay, and then we need to rotate this around. Slide that over. Now you need to make sure that the spring is not caught in between the spacer and throttle body itself. Okay. You also want to double check and make sure that the tabs for that uh, nylon spacer are interlocked here which it appears they are not. Okay, so we're gonna have to get back there and kind of rotate that around a little bit, which is uh, not a lot of access there. We'll get this sorted out, get those to lock in place. Okay. Kind of using this pick to rotate this around. It looks like there's the tab right there. Let's see if we can't push in a little bit on the cam here. There we go. Got a lock washer. the nut. Torque this down. There should be just a little bit of the stud protruding through the other side of the nut. And then take a good look and make sure the spring is installed correctly which everything looks great 
Definitely feels lighter, but you won't really know until you get the throttle reinstalled on the bike. Okay, now let's go ahead and reinstall our throttle cables. So, push the slack back up. Make sure your retainer is seated. Now we can lower the bike down and reassemble the throttle tube. Okay, let's go ahead and reinstall the throttle cables here. Two halves slid back together. Make sure the cam is engaged correctly with your throttle tube. You can slide the two halves together and then to hold it in place. Slide the boot over until you get the fasteners. It's weird working on a motorcycle I've been sleds for the last well, over a couple months now back into bike mode really shouldn't be any need to make any adjustments here oh wow that is significantly easier than it was with the much thicker spring that came in it from the factory and I can see where you know I haven't ridden for a long time right I'd love to have that on my Suzuki right I haven't seen one of those before for the the bigger bike but for the small bikes Norton has this for the Ninja 400 as well as the Yamaha R3 and I can tell you that is a significant change right there it's worth the time I think this is something Max is really going to notice if you have any questions leave those in the comment section of this video I answer all that stuff myself and i'm here to make sure you get the most out of your next performance mod from sport bike track here